Barrister, I don't know where to start from. Honestly, I'm very angry. Calm down. You can start from somewhere. I have a very big problem right now. It all started one day. Alpha Jerry, have you booked the cab yet? Yeah, that's what I'm doing, bro. Hope he agrees to our proposal. Why not? Money talks. Who shit works, bro? Okay, we don't blow. We don't hammer. It good. You go ahead. Ah, you go don't pee. Man, I don't pee now. The cab man is calling. Hello. We're inside Orange Bar. Okay, we there. We are waiting. Man, I don't the show. Guys, this idea now is the best way to escape arrest from all these uh, financial crimes commission guys. Exactly. You know about moving incognito in a cab and hiding out in an unknown hotel and in an unknown location. That's the best ultimate. Oh, you guys are not giving honor to him on his deal. Say it's who? Thank you. Ah, bro, chillax. <laughs> Obina, this boy Jerry, they crazy. <laughs> He's here, bro. Come on, come on. I don't want to move the right. Yes. Can you take us to Hilltop Mansions Hotels? Yes. To cost you 2,000 naira, sir. Okay, 2,000 naira is a chicken shape. I have a bigger offer for you. And what could that be? Can you take us offline? I'm sorry, sir, I can't. It's against company policies. Not where we can pay you a whopping sum of 450,000 naira for just two weeks. I'll lodge you in a suite for the period of time you're going to work for us. And also pay for your food and your drinks. Oh, oh. That's so generous. So what do you say? Are we going offline? Yes. But I'll need some advance payments. How much? 100,000 naira. Um, okay. We'll be tra transferring 60,000 naira now. When you are done with the job, we give you the balance. Deal. Who am I to reject such a juicy offer? To hell with this company's policies. We're offline now. Let's go. Can I have audience with the manager? Yes. That's the manager, sir. Oh, I'm I happy, sir. Um, we need four executive rooms for me and my friends. We got to cover with payment services. That's good. Can we see them? It's all pleasure, sir. Please. Give me the keys to room 101, 102, 103, and 104. Oh, oh, Jerry, man! Jerry, 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 cool! Man, you got this. 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 You Ah, it's money. It's money. It's not nothing in ego. I hope you all are enjoying your stay, sir. Sure. Yours is actually the best hotel in the whole of Nigeria. Since we've been visiting Nigeria from Malaysia, we have never received this kind of trade before. 
In fact, from now on, we will continue to lodge here whenever we visit Nigeria. I'm delighted, sir. I was informed that you have neither paid for your rooms, nor food and drinks. And now the bills is running into hundreds of thousands. Okay. What the hell was? What is the problem here? Who are talking with Malaysia money? Hmm. Did you hear that? Okay, sir, if you say so. I'm so sorry if my question embarrassed you. Yeah, don't worry. I get you doing your job. You'll get your payment in full. Don't worry, don't have to worry about that. Thank you, sir. Do enjoy your evening. I'll be leaving. <laughs> no, don't mind him. He thinks we are hungry and poor like himself. Hello, guys. I don't see myself, I bet. I close to not die. You got to enjoy, bro. Enjoy. There is money. That money. Is, uh, Is there any problem? No, but yes, an emergency. You need to take us to the airport right now. Are you going to be traveling from there? We'll be back in two days' time. Okay, you know what? Let me drop you off. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Mr. Manager. How may I help you? I was told that your friends left a few days ago. And they left a message with the instruction that you have to settle the bills. Settle the bills? How? I beg your pardon, sir. Well, your bill is 450,000 naira. What mode of payment would you like? Sir, I don't know those guys. I'm just a cabman they hire for services. Well, I'm not aware of that. The hotel management is keen to receive their payment today. I'm me. Are you kidding me? Wait, let me. Let me call them. The phones are switched off. I'm sorry, sir. If you do not pay the bills, we may be forced to seize your vehicle until you are able to settle the bills. Sir, that's unfair. I'm not the one that incurred all these bills. They are your friends. Find a way to contact them. That will be all for now. How can someone with good luck turn to bad luck all of a sudden? I think I both need a lawyer. Hmm. Your case is very pathetic. I mean, this is a clear case of obtaining under false pretense by the three young men at large. They used you as a decoy and an involuntary accomplice to accomplish their criminal activities. All right, Barrister. So what do we do now? We have to make a complaint at the police station and hope they apprehend the suspect. Or you may just have to pay the money to recover your car. I see. Since it has been established, you're indebted to them. How be it inadvertently? The hotel management has a right of lien to your properties under their custody. And that is why they seized your car to recover their money. This will serve as a lesson to all online drivers who go against the company policy to run offline services. I mean, it can get into trouble, you know. You're very quiet, Barrister. I'll never do this again. Many have been made to answer for crimes they knew nothing about due to careless association or sheer greed. Most organized crimes committed today are associated with more than one person. Why some people plan, others implement. Why some others help obtain the process. It's so interwoven that an innocent person who isn't at his guard may be skimmed into playing part in commission of such crimes. I urge you to be vigilant and ensure you don't let greed becloud your judgment. If only the taxi man in this episode didn't let his greed becloud his sense of judgment, maybe he would have seen the fraud.
maybe he would have been more professional letting his job stop at just being the taxi driver he was. The magnitude of fraud in our country today is alarming. Please keep guard not to fall victim. Oh yes, my name is Kanayo Okanayo Esquire and this is the People's Lawyer. Thanks for watching. Aha. Get yourself a lawyer. You say you no know need that. Now you don't complicate the matter. You don't implicate yourself. No be grand, grand no be fight. Lawyer go help you know your right. Teach me the law. Be go guide me. Got to rise up. Got to sit it down. Judge you judge the matter. Somebody at your bank. Because the justice we define. Which is justice all the time. Nobody is above the law. Nobody is above the matter. Nobody is above the law.